What's up, Internet? IG here again today, and we're back with part four of the using Linux Mint or switching to Linux Mint 17.1. Now, as Linux Mint 17.1 has been going and I've been keeping it up to date and all that fun stuff, I've actually been quite enjoying the, customiz the customization abilities of Cinnamon, as I've probably already highlighted in previous videos. However, unfortunately, I've come up against some serious showstoppers. And uh, at least for me anyway, these probably don't affect many other people. But for example, uh, the NVIDIA, um, once I'd installed the NVIDIA card, uh, you can see that I am supposed to be running the uh, the Intel power saving mode, um, but it actually gave me quite a bit of trouble uh, when I tried to switch between the two. And I ended up having to uh, reconfigure the server manually, uh, the display server that is, inside a terminal, uh, which is not really ideal in 2014. Uh, and also I've been coming up with some serious issues with Caden Live as well. It just isn't looking the way it's supposed to and also it keeps crashing every time I go to save it. So unfortunately those are some serious roadblocks in my user experience of Linux Mint 17.1. However, the speed of this thing, I really can't knock it. Um, I guess this will be just kind of like the wrap up or the conclusion to my series in a sense because I will probably be switching to something else now as uh, I really don't have time to try and fix the issues that I've been having. Uh, however, the speed of this distribution is second to none in my opinion or at least that's been my experience thus far. Um, everything seems quite snappy when I'm uh, sort of navigating the user interface. I'll open up Caden Live here just as an example. Uh, you can kind of see how there's some weird kind of menu stuff going on here and also there's very few buttons along the top here. I know these are probably pretty simple user experience uh, issues that have to be fixed because of, KD uh, of KDE dependencies, but still it's not the sort of thing I want to be dealing with and trying to fix up in order to get working. Uh, the other things that I've really been appreciating are the applets on the taskbar and also desklets like, like I've already mentioned for putting it on the desktop and as you can see I've got a bit of a transparent docky going on down the bottom here as well just a bit more suits the way that I personally get work done so I guess in response to the latest edition of Linux Mint here uh, I'd just ask uh, what you guys think about a replacement distribution what do you reckon is a good distro to try out I'm either looking towards the KDE camp or possibly switching to elementary Freya. Uh, now obviously that being still a beta release, it should be relatively close to, uh, to being finished, but I am kind of interested to see what you guys think if I should run that as my daily driver. But I will be switching to something else now, even though Linux Mint 17.1 is still one of my favorite distributions of 2014 in terms of an operating system, in terms of a Linux community, they've got something very healthy going on here. Uh, and it's definitely a safe option by and large for uh, for the new user out there. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I know this was a really quick one and it was more just an update to my scenario, but I figured I better end this one proper, properly, unlike the one that I did on OpenSUSE where I just kind of uh, stopped after I was pretty much happy with it. So we're gonna bump ship to something else and I will let you know how all that goes. But in the meantime, of course, you can find me on Twitter, on Facebook and Google Plus and uh, yeah, keep sending me suggestions and also uh, let me know what you value most in a daily driver of an operating system. Well, that'll be all from me. You will hear from me very soon with a kind of a, a, a new update to which one I am switching to. Obviously, I'm in a bit of a distro hopping phase, but until then, I will see you all in the very next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.